Whoa, it's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. It's blood. <laughs> this place could use a good cleaning. Fragrant. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Nice having the place to ourselves, though. Ale. It goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste of time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... He looks fine. Fat and scared. Good. Let him stay that way. Until we collect our gold, at least. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best oars when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironroth. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To family. I'm sure I'd agree if I'd ever had one. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? I'd cut your fucking throats! Tavern's closed. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. 
And that's all you're getting. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all cell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valeria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell! And we're done with you too. Tazar, what the hell have you done? You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Hey. Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte Osinas! Bojos menomi jahosso kisikas! Alright, who dies first? Who wants to dance on the end of the sword? Kill them! Now! No one's more like. Here's one! Come on! She couldn't have passed me! To be the one! You owe me one. This is for Volantis! Fester! Fuck you, Ashen! Fazal! Cost of a kitis! Brains! Illibonius! Know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me. To <laughs> so. Asha! What in all the gods of fire and fuck? Who the fuck is he? My uncle. That ended well. More on their way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn them. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home.
so fucking far away. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again? I, uh, Where I have you got this? Sir Ryland. Some poor peasant dressed up like I, a lord. Uh, a stable boy was, in Bannerman's uh, clothes. Uh, you did uh, this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again! No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have forest leave. Now! Fine! I'll dump them in the river then! You come back here again, you won't be leaving! You got that? I, I heard you! That was a sheep fucker. I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you, sir. Fetch the maester. Hurry. Fetch the maester! Roderick! My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of a puppy. Drink. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let her. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No! Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, you may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. That one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Call me a sister. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. It 
These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? Are you gonna be all right? I don't know. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> no tea. You're stronger than that. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse can. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? Everyone will be so glad to see you up, though I think you'll find that much has changed. black, so this is the site of the Night's Watch. The wall! Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate! You 
arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. <laughs> Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Mm. Cause you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. Huh. It's warm. Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? Ignore me, and you'll come to regret it. You arrive on horseback, wearing a soldier's livery. I know exactly who you are, Garrett Tuttle. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle. I know all about you. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, Try to make it quick. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Wine's almost done, actually. We'll need. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run in a with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Oh. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest. Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Gives a toss. Don't let go of your sister now.
We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Go on then, my lord. Ridiculous. You're treating them like guests. The wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good... <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. Mr. Otengrin doesn't know everything. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please! Oh! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole I've told you! I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers! You should have been protecting your lord! Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage! And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! I will have order! Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helleva, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, that much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. 
I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting their stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Just handily. We could keep them fed, but take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. We will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira. But I like it. They'll be very grateful. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before, and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... Hmm. 
I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard, oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. <sighs> Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the Wall? The Wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. To defend At this the girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. We go <laughs> again. Bows up. Oh, See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Again. <sighs> Castle Black. So this is home now. Terrible. 
You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're at- <laughs> <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Not bad. Good. Right target. Chest. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. No. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye. He is. That's why I took these. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Grab a practice sword. This one should do. Are you deaf? Are you hard of hearing? I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. It's not iron wood. Too hard to burn. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. <sighs> Want some help? Uh, 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 uh,
Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Not bad. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not quite. Not holding my breath, brother. Lucky. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Maybe someone stole it. Who the fuck would have... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Do something! Stop it! Before someone... I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside! If you ever hit me again, I swear I'll... <laughs> Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this. On your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Crossfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. <sighs> I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. Ah. So, I, uh... Well, I just... Very good at this sort of thing. 
Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And when I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, and now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am, talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady? We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. 
My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's a private matter, my lords. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. <laughs> lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. 
And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Yonkai Heroncho si bota con costoti da orra! Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my book? Why would someone do this?
I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. Just remember that you'll want to see gentleness in you, too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look. I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no, just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. How have you been, Elena? Oh. It's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral, and you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? 
even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore... You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. Now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that! Ramsay Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I'll have my revenge. I hope so. I really do. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man.
can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Crossfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you. But men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the night's watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason, and they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger.
here. Where are you? Where do you think oh. you're going? At this time of night? I'm meeting someone. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now! If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. Did you leave me this note? I did. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. I... I should go. I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. people so someone sent him what are you doing here no. i heard yelling you did what you had to do lady mira you had no choice i need to get back someone might see me i'll take care of him i know a few places in fleetwood no one will ever find him We should talk about this. Later. I'll find you. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Isn't it? Roderick. They said you were gone. No. 
Ramsay Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse says you won't, because you're a coward. But I know you will. He deserves it. Ryan, you know I'm not a coward. Foresters stand together. That's enough. Your little chat is over. I will speak with my brother. I said you're done. Keep your distance or I'll drag him back to high point right now. What? I have to go back? No! I want to come home! Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick? Are you going to forget about me? Are you? I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. Mother. Come join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett, they all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? My father. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honourable. I never knew a better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan. My little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love. And our Lord, Ethan. <laughs> My sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. <laughs>
from highs, from highs, we forced us born to ice, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to ill in pain and swim the shivering sea. Pain slavers pay in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. Snow grass. going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. May kings and queens melt down their crowns up high on Aegon's hill. In floods of gold I pray they drown for all the blood they spill. Oh, 
of beasts across the sea. Paint slavers bay in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. Snow grabbed me from my mother's grasp to claim me as his prize. Ethan freed me from Ramsey's clasp. The rival lords locked eyes. The rival lords locked eyes. Fight on, fight on. God's bear steel with you. Our Lord, my twin, a hero's grave. So 